Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Samuel Myung, and today I will be covering the topic of phylogenetic trees with you. Let's go. As you can see here, I have created a phylogenetic tree using components of an outfit. Starting with outfit, we diverge into our shoes and clothes branch. Shoes are our outgroup, and clothes continue to diverge over time. From clothes, we diverge into our upper garment and lower garment branches. For the upper garment branch, we diverge into short sleeves and long sleeves. The short sleeves branch diverges into t-shirt and polo shirt, and the long sleeve branch diverges into jacket and sweater. For the lower garment branch, we diverge into pants and shorts. The pants branch diverges into jeans and khakis, and the shorts branch diverges into gym shorts and swimming trunks. As you can see, we have eight total clothing items and an outgroup item of shoes. If you look closely, starting from the right-hand side, you can see that each horizontal line begins to grow longer and longer as you follow the branches from the right-hand side to the left. This is because the more closely related items will have the shortest branches. For example, the t-shirt and polo shirt branches are more closely related to each other than the overall short sleeve and long sleeve branches. Now, let's go over some terms that will help you understand phylogenetic trees better and see which terms apply to our specific tree. Let's start off with anagenesis versus cladogenesis. Anagenesis is the evolution within a lineage over time. In a phylogenetic tree, the lines remain horizontal lines. Cladogenesis, on the other hand, is the splitting of one lineage into two. Once cladogenesis occurs, the branches evolve separately from each other. This leads to biological diversity because more species exist at the same time. This is what is occurring in our tree, as you can see from the diverging patterns. Now, OTUs are operational taxonomic units that can be based on differences in their DNA sequences. OTUs can be a species or strain of virus or even different alleles with a species. In our tree, they are the clothing items and shoes. Now, in an unrooted tree, only the distance between OTUs is known, but not the order of divergence throughout evolutionary time. In a rooted tree, the distance between OTUs is known, and the order of divergence is inferred by comparing to an OTU that is considered an outgroup. We clearly have a rooted tree due to the presence of our outgroup shoes. An outgroup is an OTU that is known to have diverged earlier than all the other OTUs. The outgroup roots the tree such that all other OTUs share a common ancestor. Now you may have also noticed the pink dots on our tree. These pink dots represent internal nodes, which are any node of a tree that has child nodes. The nodes also represent where there is a common ancestor. Thank you for listening and have a great day.